What's the highest common factor of 30 and 60? <coughs> what do you see? Six. <coughs> Nothing else, right? <coughs> so I'll show you uh, another method instead of listing everything out. It is by using prime factorization, which is what we learned, which was what we learned in part one. So 30, when you express it as prime factors, 2 times 3 times 5, 36, is 2 square times 3 squared. <coughs> so the highest common factor, okay, here's the interesting part, huh? I will compare the factors of 30 and 36. I take out the common factors, yes? There's a typo at the top over here. This should have been 36. Factors of 36. Thanks for pointing it out. Okay, so back to this. Common factors. If I were to write 36 as if I expand everything out, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3, right? This is if I expand everything out. Let's find What's common? Let's circle whatever is common, okay? <coughs> First one, we've got 2 and 2. They are common. What is the next prime factor that is common? 3. Okay, 3 and 3. Any more? Any more in common? Are, are you in common? No, no more already. Highest common factor is 2 times 3, which is 6. How do you find this method? Is it a bit easier? More straightforward? We're just finding common factors, right? Yeah, then we'll practice now. Huh? Um, in words, huh, this is what goes through our mind. We multiply all, see this is the multiplication, the prime factors with the lowest power. Why do we say lowest power? Now, if I, if I did not show you this, if I did not explain it out for you, you have to be familiar with 2 square and 3 square. So if we compare this portion, 2 versus 2 square, which one has the lowest power? Is it the 2 or the 2 square? The 2, right? So we, we use the 2. We don't use the 2 square because 2 square, there are 2 of them. I only need 1, which is the common one. So we take the lowest power. So we multiply the lowest power, which is uh, 2 to the power 1. And on the other side, the next one we have, we compare the 3 square and 3. <coughs> which one has the lowest power? 3. So we put on 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. Now if you look at 5, does, uh, does our 36 have 5? Don't have. So it cannot be common. Okay, so that is what this means over here. And the next step, the next part is you reject. means I don't want it. I don't want all the uncommon factors, which is 5. It's, it's not common, so I ignore it. And I get my final answer as 6. Okay, for now, you may find it useful to express it out this way. And then you do the circling, the grouping. When you are familiar with this already, you skip this step, and then you look at the power. Okay? So let us try using a this prime factorization, this is a uh, repeated division, repeated division. Okay, let's do exercise two first. <coughs> so we've got three numbers, they are A, B, and C. I know that you can find out what is A. You may, you may be very tempted to go and use your calculator. Oh, A is actually four times nine times seven cubed. So four times nine times. 7 power 3. You may want to do this. Ah, uh, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 8. But that is not what the question wants. So what if you have this answer? It doesn't help you in any way. Okay? This is in index notation. It is a very useful way of writing things. Don't go and evaluate. This is called evaluating. You press calculator, you get number. It is useless. We don't need this information. Okay? B, 
Likewise, it's expressed in terms of index notation and for C. So for part A, greatest common factor of A and B. What do you think is the greatest common factor of A and B? Are you sure it is 2? So H, C, F equals to A and B. Uh. So let us focus on the 2's. A has 2 2's. B has 1 2. What is the number of common 2's? Just one of them. In other words, the lowest power. So it's just one of it. Multiplied by, let us compare the next prime number, the next prime factor. If A has 2 trees, A has 2 trees, B has 3 of them. How many trees are common? 2 of them. So if right now, 3 to the power of 2. Are there any other common factors? No. Let me stop here. Now, they want you to find the greatest common factor. So this is the greatest common factor. And we put our equal sign at the bottom. 2 times <coughs> 9, that is 18. Okay? So for this one, you will need to evaluate. Yeah, the greatest common factor for A and B is 18. This is our final answer for part A. If I didn't teach you this method, you will be um, doing this. Uh, A equals to 1, 2, 3, 4, 8. B equals to 2 times 27 times 5. 270. Find H, C, F of these two. Wow, are you going to list everything up? Can you imagine the amount of work you have to do to list everything out? What are the factors for this? Find HCF. Find HCF. So, we don't want this from school matter anymore. We are going to use index notation to help us. In less than one second, we can get the answer already. Okay, we practice, we practice. Now, for part B, find the greatest common factor of A, B, and C. Okay, let's go through the same uh, thinking process again. Let us group all the tools. Let us consider all the tools. What is the uh, number of common tools that we have? Common one. Yeah. Only one. So it must be two times. Let us look at. Oh, is there anything else that we can look at? Yeah. Is there anything else in common? Yeah. Don't have already. That's the answer. Remove the multiply. That's it. Please, uh, don't go and evaluate the numbers out there. You get uh, 270 or how many thousands. Then you start to, to list down all the factors. If you ever have to do that, just remember that it's not the correct approach. We want to find the easiest way of doing things. We don't expect you to do very tedious things in mathematics in secondary school. Alright? Okay, again, uh, now for exercise 3. <laughs> and you check your answers, huh? Part A, HCF of A and B will be 3 times 5 squared. Am I right? Uh, then, do we need our answers like this? We must evaluate. So, 25 times 3 is 75. Am I right? Yeah. Let me check my mental sums, huh? Part B, A and C. HCF, we've got. So this is what goes through my mind, and I hope it goes through my mind also. For A and C, I look at the smallest prime number, prime factor, 3. Oh, it's not bad, 3, so ignore the 3. I look at 5 next, this has 5 squared, this has 5 squared, okay, so it must be 5 squared. So I'm done with this already. Now I consider 7 and 7 squared, next one must be 7. So 25 times 7 gives me 175. Right? Okay, next one, part C. For A, B, and C. Um, 2 is not common, 2 is not common, 3 is not common, o only 5 is common. So 5 square over here, there's 5 cube over here, there's 5 square. So the common one must be 5 square, 25. Hmm? First one got easier method. What's the easier method? Okay, so now, we, are we familiar with um, this method one of prime factorization? 
Remember, we said there were two methods, right? That was prime factorization. I'll show you the other method, which is known as repeated division. Then you choose whichever you prefer, okay? So for the same one, for the same example, 30 and 36, we will do our repeated division again. We write down the common prime factor. In this case, it will be 2. And then we're left with 15. And on the other side, we have 18. So they cannot be divided by 2 again. The next common factor will now be 3. So we've got 5 and 6 left. Now, whatever, when you have 5 and 6 left, they don't have any common factors anymore. So it's stopped here. Okay? Earlier on, for index notation, we stop until we reach 1. But today, to find HCF, we leave it as um, the we leave it when we don't have any more common factors. So our answers will therefore be 2 times 3. Okay, and this will be 6. <coughs> so here we have exercise 1, A. Using repeated division, find the HCF. So I'll go through, I'll show you part A. 24 and 108. I'm sure you know how to do it using index notation, but this is the other method, okay? We start with the lowest prime factor again. What is it? 2. So we're left with 12 and 54. Divide by 2 again. 6 and 27. What should I divide by this time? 3. We're left with 2 over here and 9. Are there any more common factors? Don't have. So the HCF of 24 and 108 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3. <coughs> which is 12. Okay, and part B, you can try it by yourself. Okay, while waiting for your teacher to come. 